Hey, Remote Pilot 101, Jason here. Today we're talking about three VFR sectional chart symbols that you need to know. And one thing you're going to realize and really need to understand is this recurrent test, the initial test as well, but in particular, the recurrent test is so heavy on charts and airspace. Ask anyone who's already taken the recurrent test. If you have taken the recurrent test, back me up on this in the comment section below this video. The recurrent test is very heavy on charts and airspace. So we're going to spend some time working on that. Then I'm going to share with you a future live stream we have coming up on VFR sectional charts. But before we do that, let's take a look at the Jacksonville sectional chart. It's actually a zoomed in version on the Orlando TAC chart, as you can see here. This video I know is called Three Sectional Chart Symbols You Should Know. We're going to go over much more than that here. Follow along with me on your screen. My cursor is right here in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Very quick airspace review. I love using the Orlando area because we can accomplish just about everything airspace-wise. Solid blue line is what? Solid blue line, Class B. Airspace, Class B, Airspace, Class B, Orlando's, Class B, Airspace. Solid magenta line is what? Solid magenta line. Solid magenta line is Class C, Class Charlie Airspace. Down here, you got to look very closely because it kind of, uh, the blue is transparent, the, the Bravo is transparent through this, but there's a blue dashed line. You can see a little bit better this way, blue dashed line. Blue dashed line, class D, class delta airspace. Dashed magenta line, dashed magenta line is surface class echo airspace. In this case, it is a surface class echo extension here. All right? And last little thing, faded magenta line. Faded magenta line here. Faded magenta line, class echo transition area. Inside of here, class echo airspace starts at 700 feet. Outside of it, assume it doesn't start anywhere else and it doesn't, this starts at 2000, so the echo out here starts at 1200 feet. 700 in, 1200 out, unless otherwise depicted by other airspace, right? Quick airspace review. Now to the three symbols you need to know and you need to really understand here. We've been seeing these come up on the recurrent test. Follow my cursor all the way to the left side of your screen. Two are right on top of each other. What is the difference between this symbol and this symbol right here? There's this circle with an X through it, and then there's just a circle here. What is the difference between the two? Can you tell here? Well, you could answer the question as simply as one is open and one is closed. An X across an airport like this means it's closed. However, from the air, it still may look and appear like an airport. Now, apparently they just moved this airport or multiple runways around a few times. There is another runway right over here, another airport right here. This is a closed airport. Now, it's not just a closed airport. It is a closed, soft airport field, meaning particularly, probably in Florida, a grass runway. See how there's no runway shown? This shows hard surface runway, hard surface runway, uh, obviously down Orlando Executive, hard surface runways. When we just do a circle and we don't actually show a rectangle to show the runway, that means it's a grass strip or, a, or other than hard surface, technically. It could be dirt, it could be anything, but in Florida, chances are it's probably a grass field. This is a closed grass runway. This is an open airport and it is a grass runway. Understand these two. Top left portion of the screen now. What type of activities are taking place right here? What does this symbol mean and what type of activities are taking place right there because of it? Up this way is gliding. It looks like a glider, easy to remember, and it has a G in there as well to remind us that that is gliding activities. We as remote pilots need to understand that oftentimes glider pilots do not use radios. If they do, it's a, sim a, a very easy, simple handheld radio. And, and we all know if you're using a VHF handheld radio, you know some of the limitations of that, right? So even if they have a radio, it may not be the best 
of radios. Gliders do not have avionics because they do not have, or most do not have electrical systems with that. If they do, it's just a, you know, a, a wind generator with that and not providing actually much power there. Now, not to be confused with this solid blue line, but there are some light blue lines here. Do you see this light blue line? There's another one right through here, this light blue line. What is this light blue line? This light blue line is showing us what's called a Victor airway. This is Victor 152. This is Victor 159 or 295, depending on which way you're heading on it. These are the highways in the sky for manned pilots. You can see this one's going right on into Orlando Executive. This one's continuing on down perhaps uh, to the Sarasota area, heading southwest uh, that direction. We can see these Victor airways here so we know exactly where the majority of the traffic is going to be. Now, don't get me wrong, we don't always fly these highways in the sky. However, the majority of traffic, IFR traffic, is going to stick to these highways in the sky. Last symbol here, and then we'll wrap this up. Over Lake Apopka, there is this flag. It looks like the, uh, the pin on a golf course. What is this flag? The FAA actually calls it a pendant in the legend. What is this flag here? Well, this flag doesn't have a whole lot of purpose for us as remote pilots, but it serves a big purpose for us in manned aviation, and yet you're still quizzed on it here. This is a pendant, a flag, showing Lake Apopka. This is a reporting point for manned aircraft. I could call and say, I'm over Lake Apopka, and all the controllers will know where that's at. Here's another one for Lake Brantley. I could call and say I'm over Lake Brantley and all the controllers in this area will know where Lake Brantley is. Another one on the right side of my screen, the Bithlow Towers. It's a very easy point for manned pilots to spot and say I'm over this point on the chart so ATC knows. Now, you could be quizzed on this. This is why we cover these things, even though it sounds very much like something we use only in manned aviation. We're still seeing these types of things and these symbols come up on the recurrent exam. If you need more help with VFR sectional charts, November 1st. November 1st, I'm doing a live stream just like I did last week where we did the great recurrent test, kind of practice test live. I'm doing another live stream on November 1st at 7 p.m. and I'm quizzing you on VFR sectional chart symbols. You won't want to miss that. At the end of that, I'm giving away yet another Mavic Pro 2. Maybe you didn't win the Mavic yesterday when we did the giveaway. Well, here's another chance. We're giving away another one. The URL is still the same. If you've signed up previously for last month, you don't need to sign up again. But if this is new to you, if you haven't signed up to win the Mavic yet, please sign up so we have it. But if you didn't win last time, your names are still in the drawing for that. So you don't need to sign up again. That'll be at the end of the live stream. So November 1st at 7 p.m. is a very important day. Please put it on your calendars because we're doing the sectional chart quiz, kind of a practice quiz. I'm going to ask you what the symbol is. You're going to type in your best answers, and I'm going to read them and help you formulate the best answer. Then at the end, we're going to give away the Mavic. So very excited about that. So links to all that are below this video in the description. Do leave me a comment if you have any questions, any great feedback. Thank you so much for making Remote Pilot 101 just the best course, the most used course. 18,000 past tests on the market. What a blessing. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you all next week. See ya. Remote Pilot 101 is the most successful Part 107 test prep course on the market with over 18,000 tests passed. It's one price and you get our updated initial and brand new recurrent course for life. It's two courses for the price of one and it's for life. See the actual test questions, learn the material, take the practice quizzes, all at your own pace through our easy videos you've already grown to love. Visit RemotePilot101.com to become a member for life and learn more.